Welcome to another Men of War Assault Squad commentary by me, Morris19. And today I will be playing on a custom map with Cogsmith and a random one, random on my side. And on the opposite side we will be facing Oskar. O Z Z K A. Yeah, uh, and he is the maker of this map. He's a Swede, and uh, he has Negro with him, who's also a Swede, who knows Oscar, I believe. And they have one random with them, and they are playing as the Commonwealth. And we had some strange settings for this map. If I can remember them, it was no heavy tanks, basically. You just cut it at no heavy tanks, which means no Hummel, no Nashorn, no Tigers, nothing above Stug in the tank destroyer tier. And uh, this will prove a bit unfair. Well, never mind. I can go through the map. The center is a big city, which means this la <laughs> this map has a huge lag problem. And uh, on the left, from our point of view, is a fort behind a river. And it's extremely hard to take, or it's pretty hard to take. I'm not gonna close any doors. And uh, this means that the, that the, the flanks are pretty close down. So what I'm doing is just putting some flank cover. So we know that the enemy is coming if he's coming. So my first move is to support the center and you can see the center there. It's in uh, this map. It's a uh, good because also good because uh, the it's a huge, huge map. You can flank around really much. And but since a lot of people find it hard to play in city maps, it can get frustrating. And uh, the center was a bit unbalanced. We told Oscar this in. Uh, I'm dead. Deaf. Oh, no. Never mind him. We told Oscar this while playing, so I think he will change it. Because uh, the British can enter the, the center from a door. They don't have to run into the center like we do. From a big gate. Here the guy moved his unit so he didn't die. <coughs> Their opponents are quite. They are experienced, I would say. I'm recording, yes I am recording. Isn't sounding that much, but I don't never mind. I just turn up volume when I'm rendering this. So it's a pretty interesting map. The uh, bad the down part of this map is that it's a city map, <laughs> which involves extremely bad pathfinding from the AI and uh, lag issues. <coughs> Even me with my low settings can't handle this map. And for those of you who... You, can, you will see it later. Never mind me. Never mind. So I'll bring in a 2 to 2 to Because uh, it's awesome in uh, town battles. City maps and I drive over... <laughs> <laughs> Cogsmith's machine gun there. I mixed him up with the other guy. That guy. The other guy. Which we don't know who it is. Cause his name is weird. And this is pre-patch. So you know. Yes, so you know. The new patch has some weird features. For example, it's got names for everything. I, I don't know if it's random or something. But some other names come up as let's say tiger but uh, not 
it doesn't say tiger, it says Jeff Dunham or something like that. So it's pretty weird <laughs> since I react to uh, those ki those uh, vehicle kills. It's like, what kind of vehicles are you killing? A uh, John Stewart? We're not killing anything. What do you mean? It's some strange bug. Oh, okay. And here, try to go and take out this. This is what's interesting with all city maps. Infantry gains so so much. Uh, what's it called? Space. We can call it space. So what you basically will do on this map. <coughs> and any heavy city map or city map you should try to get or help the center and try to get as much people as possible hidden into the city because they are really hard and time consuming to kill if you don't have a flamethrower <gasps> why didn't I think of a flamethrower <laughs> when I did this and the reason why I'm speaking this slowly, slowly, yes, I said slowly, is because uh, in some of my videos I've been saying stuff that I can't even recognize myself. So I'm like, what am I saying? So I'm trying to pronunciate this, my uh, commentaries better. So I can at least understand it and tell everybody else that they're ignorant. There are some, on these settings again, uh, there are some weird features. The Hummel is not allowed. The Vesp is allowed. The Panzerwerfer is allowed. Now I would, it's not a heavy, I know, but it's kinda a heavy, <laughs> a heavy tier unit. So I don't really understand the settings on this game mode. Strange. In my opinion they should just remove all the heavy tanks. For instance I wouldn't call the NAS on a heavy tank, it's a Panzer IV chassis. It's got very weak armor so I don't know. Because I'm not something I'm just blubbling, blubbling, and you won't know what that is. You're like, what is it saying? And I'm saying blubbling. So, the new Hetzer features a cheaper one for 500. This is 550. And its gun is way worse than the Stuks, about 19, I believe. So, I have some beta movies. Why did you throw that? <laughs> what? I didn't notice that in the game. And, uh, yes, the Hetzer. I'm not buying it anymore. <laughs> it's still good, but I want that armor penetration, especially since I will be facing the Commonwealth in later movies. And here you see the problem with city maps. The AI just can't clear maps with <coughs> corners. My voice is abandoning me because I just woke up from four hours of sleep so I'm drinking some have no idea what it's called in English kinda like apples tastes good Smells like apple juice. And they have a crusader. Which is no match to my for my hitter. Who doesn't seem to be cooperating with me. And these narrow streets offer a quite 
funny element in this game too because you can ambush tanks pretty easily so it would have been fun if what's it called digital mindsoft would have in put in some city battle technique engine <laughs> or something I'm really happy with the game anyways but it's really frustrating to fight on city maps basically you shatter the entire map <laughs> I just want to say shatter destroy the entire map from obstacles usually this only occurs in the center with dynamite so you will probably see some of that those features another imbalance uh, according to Coxmith who's in the center is their wall of stone so to speak I don't really get what he meant but some he will probably whine about me. Oh, you didn't. You said crap about me or something. It, I believe it has something with the V formation towards us. I believe it shrugs off shells easier also. Plus some hidden feature. I don't know. <coughs> and it's not. It's uh, not that exposed to hand grenades, but also they have, yeah, with the uh, door, they have a better precision to support the center. Eh? I understand. And there's another church lobby. Too slow to be on my car. <laughs> Pretty damn lousy of me not to realize or recognize it and here he's doing a stupid thing he's destroying a lot of debris to get in close with our tanks this might be good in short term operation but you really want that cover so basically what we can do now is cover that entire hole because his infantry will take that way or path because they are not smart as me so now this match this game has turned into a slugging match but we will see some funny things I hope and we just don't manage to take out anything these days these day this day <laughs> And uh, that means <coughs> they will repair everything whilst coming the center. I don't know if I've said this before, but uh, the comet of the British, they got it in this mm, no heavy tank game. <coughs> I can buy that they have it, but because uh, it's a medium tank, but it's really late tank in the war and if they have the comet then at least the Germans should have the panther and everybody's like oh that's pretty imbalanced yeah it'd probably be best if you just remove the comet from this game mode game setting so if digital minds of the instinct is watching this my tank just blew up Hell, the tank who, which just died because he's incompetent. So I'll buy another hit. No, it's not spamming. It's clever micromanagement of funny bar on the right. Which of is not funny. <coughs> See, I'm trying to do some funny lockdown of the middle. I wonder if it worked. I can't remember what uh, it was a few days ago. Since I played this and yeah, commanders hit them, and 
Let's see what people can do, even if Coxmet will rage on me, because I will probably whine on him, as usual. Well, the fundamental reason why we lost this game was because our guy on the right, he... no one puts pressure on him, but he still won't attack. I've uh, played on the other side of this, or I've played on the right side on this map, and uh, it really features some uh, good obstacles from which to flank. <coughs> And there blew up this Churchill, take that Oscar or whoever that was. And uh, another kind of buggy feature. The uh, sand and the water really don't, they mix. You can, yeah you can cut, you, they mix. And our companions having fun, they mix. So I noticed that they have... So they have water cover from shells, so to speak. So if a shell lands on sand, it uh, in the middle that is, it could uh, have the effect of landing water, which really mess up the effect. It's called that. I miss several words in my vocabulary of English. And there I go, boom, boom, he's Cromwell. game was quite long and the, the main reason for that is that it was really laggy and that we fought over the center point a lot and just to piss off Cogsmith if I were in the middle I would have taken it and we would have won but you're not as good as me and you know it that's why we didn't win so there, he, now he will rage. So I don't have to think of that anymore. Try to avoid that. And here I'm doing some flanking maneuvers. And there's some half track, towing something, I believe it is towing. And there's some guys behind doors. They Kill my para poopers. Yeah, I call them para poopers. That's what I think of these jollies. <coughs> well, since the other games are quite hectic, or I don't know, perhaps they are. Uh, I will. I can talk about some about the patch notes. And to do that, I need to find the patch notes. Because I don't know all of them in my mind. And basically what they did was they buffed the uh, hero point unit. For so to speak the uh, Brandenburgs. And we have no special ones. You know that. So you can see that too. Well the... Uh, <coughs> damn throat they uh, are have increased their numbers oh what's that oh I like that no man I just found a funny link on the forum yeah and uh, that's one of them they nerfed the headser they uh, lowered price on a lot of things a lot of panther panzers are cheaper. I believe the Cromwell is cheaper, so it's really, really good now. It's like 350, and it's very fast, and it's got 75 millimeter gun. That's quite good. So I don't see why people think it's that bad. It's got paper thin armor, but you get all the other, <coughs> the other. Things which tanks should have. <laughs> I'll put it just there. I'll put it that. Give it the 17 pounder, that would have been ba balanced. It goes in like. Oh! 
Poo! Oh, I got taken out by a minigun. Or something. Minigun, I mean, tiny gun. And my throat is uh, being bad, so I'm gonna cough or something, so I'll turn off the mic for a sec. That's better. A little. <coughs> so now I've apparently bought a Vesp for a, or a quite a while ago. Since this has turned into a slugging match, we could use some artillery, and hence I bought the Vesp. And they got a bishop. Which I think is strange, because that. Should that's like a nice one, big gun on a small on a small chassis or something? Yes. And uh, yeah, seventeen pound. Don't know why they put it there. And there I lose my guys. Where do I lose my guys? Cause I don't care for them. If they die for me, I gain points. Actually, we gain points by losing units. It's my religion. And you don't have to care for it. And I've been a, l a bit <coughs> lazy on the uh, hosting part, shoutcasting part. And uh, or I haven't played a lot the la the uh, previous days. I've been playing Dragon Age 2. And for those who are thinking of playing the game, the story is quite lame, and it hasn't got that epic proportion which the earlier game has. But on the good side, the combat is really good. I uh, haven't cleared the first game, I played the first game uh, long, or oh, for quite a while, and almost completed it, but uh, then I uninstalled it. Haha, <laughs> smart. And, uh, what was I saying? Yes, I uh, tried clearing it, or started clearing it, the game, first game. The uh, yesterday, I believe it was second or whatever, and I couldn't play it because the combat was such boring one. So the new combat is really good, and if you want to know the good classes, you should either play a, I believe it's a two-hand sword warrior. Yeah, it's that's pretty good. But uh, what seems to be the best setup would be. A Hetzer blowing its engine up would be if you go for your main character as mage and healer because it will get really good gear and be able to heal really good and your tank will be Evelyn, Evelyn or whatever and there it goes, I'll destroy it that damn comet and what else? What was I saying? <laughs> yes, another... Uh, another... Mage, I believe. And uh, the Dwarf. The Dwarf. Uh, yeah, the Dwarf. There's only one Dwarf you can have, I believe. Well, basically you get Evelyn. And you have a, your main character as healer. That's the best setup. In my opinion, and you can mix it up. You can have uh, a rogue, rogue companion that is, and uh, or, not, or something like that. Never mind that. That's not important. And uh, thanks for commenting on this site. I uh, want some life in my videos. Thanks for commenting on the game of game. Uh, the tournament game, let's call that. And uh, I said on the on my channel or Anka's channel that I will be putting up some what's it called videos f 
for tomorrow that is and uh, I don't know if I if I got the time for it uh, since these games tend to be a little bit longer than I was thinking when I typed that so I don't I think you have to have them in uh, get them in two waves so to speak and I can if I can't remember his name had a game I tried to do some uh, Japanese games and here I'm shooting pencils at this damn Tetrock trying to get my guy ha will not happen we will have to blow it up and stay out why don't I use my armor car for killing that? Why am I so stupid? Why am I so tired? Because I've just slept a little bit. A little bit sunshine. A little bit rest. And there you see the fun part of having a closed down map with lots of buildings. And yet, I also forgot the name of a person a noob I played against when I was trying to do some Japanese. His buddy, buddy, his random partner left during the middle of the game. And he actually stayed and kept fighting. So if you, uh, it was on a, oh, I can't remember the name. It's some industry fight over some small two versus two men. Really small. Well, I just wanted to say thanks for not leaving. It was really astonishing <laughs> or something. And here is the rogue commando killing mortars. I hate commandos. And there my entire group ran past him in the building. So you see the trouble of doing this. And I tried to punch him in the face. But they won't let me do it. Also, I'll punch him in the balls. And he didn't manage to destroy my mortar. So if you're watching this Oscar. You can throw hang... If it is Oscar, I don't know. You can throw hand grenades at the mortar also. I believe you. I think you had more grenades. You could have tossed more grenades on it and uh, killed it. So, uh, yeah. Here, my, uh, my flanking maneuver here is quite doomed since he has spotted me and my entire squad with one or two guys kinda like I did with my guys at the city limits and there you saw, you saw a combat something combat mine a, AP mine I believe combat okay, well, a, perhaps AT I don't know. And basically what I try to do here is before he can get reinforcement, which you see on the right there, I will get units into his trenches. And since it's pencil they will be quite difficult to dislodge. And what I did there was I pressed F1 three times in a sequel to throw a lot of nades and there they they kill themselves thank you thanks for doing that you think you're smart by doing that? no you're not so instead of s uh, reinforcing my units I just buy out the mortar for the center and basically what's keeping us from holding the center is a comet 
and nasty comet which we don't like here in Sweden we never bought it, we never want it and you see me trying to kill and land the mattress it's like shooting blanks through a wall it does nothing it's a So I charge my arm in a car, fill my own artillery fire, and some cool effects which likes the game. And this game, I've had some issues with games that lag heavily in game, like this one. They uh, become weird in the, the what's it called? the tool for doing things with videos so this mm, game might be out of sync so apologies for that if it is and uh, well since it's 40, mi 40 minutes long and I just I will only notice this after I recorded it I will not do it again I haven't got the time for it or I have, but I won't do it again. <laughs> it's not good. It's not that big a loss. And there he gets a bishop. The bishop destroyed my vest, I believe it was. So it killed a lot of infantry. Here I'm killing his 17 pounder. And basically, and basically, I just. I start my sentences so ridiculous. And what we need to do to win this map or take the center that is is we needed to get more infantry on the left and right flank. If we'd done that I believe this game could have turned out much more fun or something better. I actually did it on uh, when I played the latter game on this map. I played two, three games on this perhaps, and uh, then it went really well for me. Like I said, and you will see the uh, water bug. I'm tossing this nade on the land, and it plums like in like it was in water. But an 18-8 to the face will really mess up your mascara or whatever it's called. Makeup in USA or something. In US. Hmm. A pensiver for blew up something. So it flew in the air. I was reading something just now. And singing because I don't have to or I don't know what to comment on since it's basically a slugging match where the solution is quite easy but no one sees it. <laughs> Damn nose and winter doing stuff to my health well this map is quite or this game is quite boring boring to come on them and uh, or I can talk about some other tactics you can use if you want to lock down the center uh, there are a few things that are extremely good for doing just that one is have machine guns and you, sh you should try to cut
cover or hide your machine gun so direct fire from tanks can't hit it so hide it behind a building and uh, whilst you still have the angle to shoot into the center probably you will not understand what it just said I don't know why I explain things pretty bad and here someone gave me a Panzer IV which I just noticed and we'll see how well it goes with that and the, the latter one is mortars you will find them extremely well and there I believe I got a track or something but I can't kill it so I blow up well done <laughs> and there's an archer on the left the archer is quite a bad tank to choose on this map in my opinion since I'm not putting up any vehicles on the left flank and then AT rifle could easily do the same job much cheaper or perhaps he had something in mind with that armored or that oh, that archer I don't know and burning hulks for everyone and as you can see in the points we uh, don't manage to hold the center for that long so we are not getting any points and they're seeing Crusader A2 trying to I believe it's an A2 or Crusader AA I believe it is called trying to kill my units I don't like that there's your land madras and that's another thing that's a bit unbalanced the uh, panzer verifier only get or it get six rounds I believe it's got and uh, the panzer verifier got oh the land madras got more eight or something I don't know and there's crusader oh it's AA2 actually got killed by a nade there's something with crew injured on that thing, I don't know what that was and here my D Dirk Kurtz tries to kill the, the half track and he manages so uh, um, I haven't got an AT, I'm just threatening my opponent keeping him busy. Oh, I got a dynamite. But my guy got killed. Get killed. How rude. Bah. I don't know what they are talking about. So our opponents is, are really happy because they are winning with points. And Coxmet is really raging because that's what he usually does. Because he won't learn the roots of the game. Or something. He will probably be mad about that too. So that's what I usually try to do during games. I usually nag on everybody. I believe I can put in the... Or I'm thinking of putting in the game sound in this video so you will hear it basically so you can hear Coxmith's communication to me but you won't hear my voice since I didn't record my voice it's my voice and uh, or I don't think Coxmith would like that so I don't know and he's pretty loud compared to the Indian sound. So you will be hearing a lot from him. Ok. 
come on, get this map over with. It's not that interesting, but it shows you. But it shows you some city street fighting, which can be quite hard to fight in. And that debris, which that guy is lying in, is really defending him. Gives him cover, I believe it does. And I believe it's quite... It's cold in here? I don't know. I don't know. I should be knowing since it's in my room and it's... My buddy chilling and killing in this room. And I need pants for later on. Or a different set of pants that is. So I'm still trying to take out that comet. And basically that comet is winning the game. Since it's got a great gun and we can take it out win. But that might be our problem. I was thinking of buying a What's it called? 88 in the earlier stages of the this battle. But with all the RT it seemed quite hard to find a position to fire from without getting shot in return. So uh, yeah. It's a slugging match. And our friend or random person on the right is still doing nothing. Whole lot of nothing! He got like 100 points when whilst I got. Me and Cogsmith got at least double his points, so. I don't know what he was doing. I don't have the power to know what he was doing. Really weird. Yes, I said that foot. What are they talking about? Oh, the sip. We faced some sip persons after this, but we won. <laughs> so uh, that wasn't too interesting. I didn't record. It crashed a lot. A sip guy had some issues with the town, so it crashed, but we got a game and yeah. It could have been good, but I'm not chewing it since I was on the right and not too much happened on the flank. That was funny for you to watch. So now I get sucks on my feet, and uh, yeah, I'm a bit warmer. So my shoulder starts to hurt. Hooray! Check. I'm just gonna check which is the last part of this movie. It's that one. It's not this one. I just wanted to end. Well, don't really know what to comment on right now. I believe Cogsmith gave up at this point after these guys died. And we just let them win. And I'm speaking real quiet, I believe, so I have to turn up the volume later on. And uh, another thing that the British had were the bishop. Which I believe can take a punch. 
And there is Cock Smith telling that he will not be playing Germany without heavy tanks. And the reason why he didn't play, uh, we didn't play heavy tanks was that I believe Oscar got. He played this map as a British or something. And he was like, oh, I'm gonna win now. But then the King Tiger came in and they lost or something. <laughs> so that, I believe that was the reason. And now the discussion starts with which I've already told you about. Told you about. How imbalanced Comet is in medium tanks only. And as you can see, we have 300 points or more, and our friend only has 100. And here I'm showing off the fortress, since I got nothing better to do. And this should be the last of this movie. About 30 seconds left. So I'll say good game to Oscar. Cool map. The uh, engine really can't support it though. But good map. And uh, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Which probably will be soon. Or you will see me next time. <laughs> That's probably much more realistic. So, just gonna let it time out. That and bye.